So you're wondering how to upload and modify documents in LendingPad. Well, let me show you how step by step. First, let's go ahead and log into LendingPad. Next, let's find the borrower's file that we need to upload documents to. In this case, we'll use Lorraine Purchaser. Once we're in Lorraine's file, we're going to move over to the document section. We'll click the blue arrow to expand the section. Once we've expanded the section, we'll move over and find Add New Documents. And then we'll click Add New Documents. Here we have the option to drag and drop the files or to select them from the computer. I'm going to click Select Files from your computer. Once we do this, we have to locate the files. Here's one dot package sample one. I can double click on it and it uploads for me. All the information's in there. You have the option to change the document name if you'd like to. Next is type, and here you can choose which bucket to drop it into. Notice that you have a lot of buckets that come preloaded into the system. Your systems administrator has the option to change these buckets. In this case, I'm gonna pick the initial 1003 bucket because I know this has my 1003 in it. And then the effective date. You can change the effective date of the document in the bucket if you'd like to. It will automatically default to whatever today's date is. If you need to change it, just hit the calendar icon and make your changes. If you want to, you can add notes about this document coming in. And here I'll say, sent from LO. And once I'm done making my notes, I can click add new documents. Notice that you will receive in the lower right hand corner confirmation that the documents were added. And you'll also see under the documents, you can scroll down to that bucket. Here's initial 1003, and you can see my document here, doc package sample one. And then of course, with any blue hyperlink, I can click on it. It will open up in a new tab and I can review those documents. If necessary, I can print from this tab too. Now, let's head back over to LendingPad. Now, I noticed when I went in to preview those documents that it was more than just the initial 1003. So, I'm gonna click the edit icon. Notice it says manage document. A new modal opens, and here I have two sections, general, and I come down and I have document operations. In the general section, as you can see, it has the document name, where it's located, which bucket, the effective date, and the notes that I made earlier. Under document operations, I have type, and there's several things I can do here. I can copy, I can move, I can delete, reorder, and rotate. And we'll look at each one of those. And then you'll notice I have page range, only because I have copy up. These next section changes depending on what type that I choose. If I'm creating a new document, I'll have the option to put in the new document name, um, what bucket to put it into, and to do the effective date in the notes. So let's check and see what we have here. We'll notice here 1003, page one, page three, which is out of order, page two, page four, page four sign, page five, and the ITP intent to proceed. So we've got quite a lot there. So let's just say, I wanna go ahead and save this original um, package, but I wanna go ahead and tidy it up. So I know I need my 1003. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy it out of here. So how do I do that? So I notice my 1003 spans from page one, down to page six of this document. So in the page range, I type in one dash six, and that's my 1003. So here under document name, I put in 1003, and leave it in that initial 1003 bucket, um, leave the effective date, and type any notes I would have wanted to. Then I can click copy pages. When I do this, the pages are copied out. You'll notice that I have in the lower right-hand side of my screen, I get confirmation that the document 1003 was added successfully. So if I want to, I can go take a look at the document. All I need to do is come up here, 
to the X in the upper right hand part of the screen and click it. And it closes the modal. And you'll notice in my initial 1003 bucket, I now have two documents, 1003 and dot package sample one. If I go in to preview the 1003 by clicking on it, again, it opens up in a new tab and I can see all the pages in there are just my 1003. All right, let's head back over to lending pad. I did notice when I looked at my 1003, there were a couple of extra pages in there and stuff out of order. So let's get that fixed. Again, I'm gonna come over here and click on manage document, that little edit icon. That'll open up in a new modal. And you can see my information under general, but I'm gonna come down here to document operations. When I look at this, I have page one, then three, then two, four, four signed, and then five. So we've got an extra page in here for sure. And that is this 1003 page four, because we have it here and then we have it here signed and we need the signed one. So we're gonna get rid of the 1003 page four, which in this case is on page four. I can go change my type to delete. Notice all my other choices disappear. All I have is page range and I'm gonna put in four. When I click delete, it deletes out page four Notice I get confirmation that the updates were made successfully. And now when I look at the document, I have page one, page, uh, page three, page two, page four signed, and page five. I have all my pages here, but I have an order problem. Let's go and look and see what we can do. So under type, I'm going to pick reorder. And when I reorder these around, I know that page one is fine the way it is. Then. I notice my page two ought to be my page three. So I can type in page one, page three, page two, and then my page four is truly my page four, and then a comma again for page five. And then I can click reorder pages. You'll notice a confirmation comes up in the lower right hand part of your screen. So we have 1003 page one, page two, page three, page four signed, and page five. So we look good to go here. Now we can go ahead and click the X in the upper right hand part of the modal. Now that the modal's closed, if we ever needed to, we can go back to that initial 1003 bucket and review our 1003. But I remember in our initial doc package, sample one, we also had ITP. So let's open that one back up again. Let's go over here to manage document, edit icon, click on it. We're gonna look through and I believe ITP was at the end. And there it is, ITP. So we're gonna come over here to our document operations and we want to move. So here I'm gonna click move and that means I'm gonna be able to grab just whatever pages I want to out of this document. It will remove them from this specific document and put them in their own document. So here, this is page seven. So my page range is seven. And I'm going to rename my new document ITP. And I'm going to put this in a different bucket. I'm gonna put it in my initial disclosures bucket. And I'll leave the effective date the same. All I need to do now is click move pages. Once I do that, I get confirmation in the lower right hand part of my screen that it was successful. So let's go ahead and see what this document looks like. Now notice the document only has six pages. And it would be those initial six pages that came minus the one that I just moved, which was the ITP. So let's go up to the upper right hand part of the modal, click on the X to close it. And now I look, I have an initial disclosures bucket. And in that bucket, I have ITP. Let's go check it out by clicking the blue hyperlink. When I click the blue hyperlink, there is ITP all by itself, one page. Okay, let's head back over to Lending Pad. Let's take another look at that 1003. When I go in and look at it, notice that I have all the pages here, but page four is signed, but page five is not signed. So let's say I cl called my loan officer and he realized, hey, I forgot to send you fake. page five signed. He sends it over. So now I'm gonna upload that page five. So again, I'm gonna add new documents, select files from your computer. And here I'm gonna bring in document package two. Notice I have it here. I'm gonna go ahead and let it go into my initial 1003 bucket. And I'm gonna say sent from LO. 
and then click add new documents. I get confirmation in the lower right hand corner of my screen and I can also see it now under initial 1003 document package sample 2. So when I click on this document, it opens in a new tab, and I can see this is indeed my 1003 page 5 sign. Let's go back over to Lending Pad. We need to be able to merge these documents. So how do we do that? Well, we go over to Document Operations. Click there, and here we're able to go in and merge documents. You can also download documents, send documents, and archive documents as needed. So if you had documents that were no longer needed for the file and you didn't want confusion in your bucket, you can archive them. If you need to send documents to the borrower for them to review or sign, you can do so with the send documents. It even lets you put in password protection. If you need to download documents, you're able to check off which documents you wanna download. But in our case, we need to merge documents. So here we need to do, put in a name for this. We're gonna put complete 1003. We're gonna leave it in the initial 1003 bucket and we're gonna leave the effective date. And here we're going to merge our document package sample two, which only has our signed page five of the 1003 and our 1003. So we have check marks next to both of them. And then we go to the top and click create document. Notice in the lower right hand corner of the screen, you get confirmation that all was completed. When you look at our initial 1003 bucket now, you'll notice that the document package sample two is gone and the 1003 is gone. They're both deleted because they were merged into our now complete 1003. Let's make sure everything in there is in order. So we're gonna click on the manage document edit icon and we're gonna be able to look in here. So we have page one, page two, page three, page four signed, page five unsigned, and page five signed. So what do we need to do? We need to get rid of this unsigned page five, which is on page five. So under document operation, we're gonna click on delete. We're gonna put in page five, we're gonna delete pages. And now we get confirmation in the lower right hand corner of our screen. And we have a complete 1003 signed in all the right places. Now there's one other function I want to point out to you. And this is under document operations. So if you click on rotate, notice you can rotate a page. So let's look at rotating page five. Here we can rotate it clockwise. So if we go back down to page five, we can look at the clockwise rotation. We can rotate it counterclockwise to get it back in order, or you'll notice if you need it to, you can rotate 180 degrees. So let's rotate page five back. And now you'll notice that page five is back the way it needs to be. And when we're done with this model and all the adjustments we need to make, all we have to do is go to the upper right hand corner and close it by clicking on the X. And that's how you upload and modify documents in Lending Pad. Questions? Feel free to review the material in our support section of the site by clicking on support in the top menu or reaching out to your Lending Pad representative. Thank you for choosing Lending Pad as your loan origination system.